All right, today we're going to talk about duty status. We're going to talk about how commanders, managers, HR pros can update duty status of individuals to uh, update the duty status roster and the readiness rosters in IBSA. Previously, this was done through legacy systems, email, runners, and then everything was put into IBSA. But now commanders, managers, company HR pros have the ability to update IBSA themselves uh, for duty status, personal accountability. So I'm logging as Battalion HR Pro. I'm going to click on the HR Professional dropdown and go to Duty Status Roster. Now I'm logged in as a battalion so I can see everybody in my battalion. And it offers me some information, useful, UIC, um, obviously rank name, things like that, the beginning and de end dates. And if I click on this, uh, these little arrows here, it puts these in a ascending, descending order for that column. So as you can see, I've got quite a few people on uh, who are absent without leave. Um, and then the other thing it has, which allows you to up make those changes from this report, is this I want to feature. The update absence feature will take you to the absence request module, which we have made a video for, and you're, I'll put an iCard up so you can take a look at it. But in here, the HR Pro can go put in the individual as being uh, on leave or having an absence. The update assignment will take you to the assignment module in IPSA. And that's where you can do some other things with regards to attachments and, and uh, temporary assignments and things like that. Again, I'll make another video and pop an I card up for all of these other all of these others. Field duty is you can put an individual or an entire organization or people within an organization in a field duty status. Uh, hospitalization updating the hospitalization uh, allows you to go to the physical profiles menu and. Uh, put that someone's uh, hospitalized, whether incurred through battle or not. Update soldier status, this is a, a different one. We it, This is done through a PAR. So if you watch the PAR video, you'll notice that when the drop-down menu came, the first menu, soldier status, was one of the PAR options. And this is where you'll update people as being AWOL, confined, or as an unsatisfactory participant. And just something of, of note, when you mark a soldier AWOL and they've been AWOL for 30 days, it's a starts the DFR process. It starts the DFR PAR for you. All of the other paperwork is still necessary that's done outside of IPSA, but pretty cool thing is that uh, you'll get reminded that this person has been AWOL for 30 days. But what we're going to do is we're just going to make someone TDY. We're just going to pick an individual and put them as TDY. So this would be anything approved through DTS. Individual goes to a PME course. Um, they're going TDY for uh, some kind of training somewhere this is where you would put that type of uh, duty status change. So we are going to put uh, Sergeant Zaway on TDY. And so the screen comes up. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. We're just gonna add another layer on their duty status record. So we're gonna put the begin date. We're gonna, prog we're gonna forecast out and say that uh, the begin date will be the 29th of April and the end date we will say is the 13th of May. So it's a 15 day TDY. The TDY type is going to be a routine TDY and the purpose will be training attendance. So many of those, if you're not, uh, if, you, if you look at them carefully, they look very related to DTS and also a lot of the stuff we see in Purse Tempo. So uh, this transaction will update Purse Tempo. All right, so we're gonna pick location code and we can sort by, we've done this before, we can sort by state, country, things like that. Uh, we're just gonna pick uh, Lackland. And again, the dates match and come over. And then here we would add any kind of file. So let's say um, we, you know, SOP for the organization is that the 1610 from DTS gets loaded in here. We could just simply click on this add button, choose a file to add and away we go. So I click on the file here and I upload it. And now the file is attached as, a, uh, as per company or unit uh, SOP. And now I'm just going to click save and we have made Sergeant Zoe TDY. And now we can go back to the uh, report. So we go back to the duty status roster and we see that it hasn't shown up. Well, that's because it's in the future. And what we have are these attributes. And these attributes change based upon uh, what we do. If you look in 
the IPSA user guide, it discusses duty status and attributes. So real quick, I'll just pull it up so you can see. There are only so many duty statuses, and then there are attributes associated to that duty status, which is a bit of a change is what we're used to. But in the IPSA user guide, you'll see that the each of the I want to's of the I want to menu is what affects the duty status. But the attribute is a subset of that duty status. So you'll see that the person that we looked at over here, Sergeant Shreve, has a present for duty, but their attribute is on temporary duty. So we know that they are still present for duty, their duty status is PDY, and they have a temporary duty attribute. So many of the uh, duty status changes that we submit will still have an individual as PDY, but they'll have an attribute of being in the field or on TCS orders attached, things like that. Just dig into the IPSA user guide to understand the duty statuses and the attributes associated. But as far as updating a duty status roster, this is it. Uh, commanders, managers, HR pros can do this at their organization. Uh, no more having to send up reports to the S1. It can be done by themselves. So that's it for updating a duty status roster. I've discovered in the ITE though that there are some duty status changes or attribute changes that certain roles can't do. Um, so if your organization wants to give that permission to commanders and managers and it doesn't, doesn't currently exist, I'd suggest you watch the access request videos to see if you can grant that individual a little bit more permission under their subcat role so they can do these things. Uh, otherwise, that's it. I appreciate you watching. Again, we are still on YouTube. We're still on S1 Net, Mill Suite. Reach out, let us know how we're doing. Let us know how the videos are working for you. We appreciate your support. Defend and serve.